Welcome to part three of walking on the Whipkey Ridge Warpath on a chilly March 8th day to 2011. I love the architecture of that barn. I think it would be a good idea for someone to... I know I've been taking pictures of barns since I've been walking, but uh... Farming is where we come from. You know, and it's, I was talking to you guys, well I was on this warpath one time, and uh, I was talking about the, uh, at the end of World War II, they were trying to figure out what they were gonna do with the German people, what kind of, what kind of civilization they were gonna design, design, uh, their new uh, conquered land. You know, it's sad that then the German people, like, you, like I said, they were basically, you know, after, but it's, uh, you know, the German people were just along for the ride. You know, they, 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 they were living in fear. You know, Hitler was a dictator, and that's where Obama is turning out to be a dictator too. You know, but who did Hitler work for? You know, now that we know Obama, works for somebody you know we're the bankers behind them too you know you gotta look into this stuff my friends stop watching baseball and football I mean there was a time in America where we could you know we could enjoy ourselves and we were free like I was telling a friend today and it's like I've always been a happy-go-lucky guy you know and if life always knocked me down I always had one thing, one great thing. I had the pride of the pride of this great country and I've always known that, you know, it's always good to know that no matter what, if you got knocked down on your feet and you know, didn't have a job, you know, you could always just you know, like like Ben Franklin, you know, when he was he set out from Boston to Philadelphia. Yeah, uh, first he went to New York and then he went to Boston. I mean, first he went to New York and then he went to Philadelphia. But he was free to move around the country. And I've always done that. And that's why I designed my life with, I became a chef because I knew that I could go anywhere in the world as a chef. You know, that was my first profession. So I mastered that profession and moved on to a lot of other things, you know, the naturopathic doctor. Now I'm a DJ, I could DJ any, I could, man, I could be the greatest DJ on any radio station if they had me on. Uh, they let me mix my music. Man, they, they you know, they, they, they'd uh, be automatically be the number one radio station in the, in the world. <laughs> I definitely know music, as, like I know food and, but anyways, you know, but, when I started walking in 2006, you know, I was down on my luck again, you know, but I was working, I was happy, I was doing one of my professions, I was a chef, you know, but, uh, you know, our, we weren't as free. Ever since 9-11, the high water mark of the Republic, uh, they've been taking our freedoms away because of this war. and. Uh, Madison said, President Madison said, it, uh, it'll be, if, if this country one day loses its freedoms, it will be because of fighting a war. You know, they'll, they'll, they'll use fighting an enemy uh, to take away our freedoms. And that's why, you know, like, where are you liberals? You know, I was happy when Obama, I wasn't happy he was in, because I knew he was a socialist pig that he is, uh, you know, as a communist, commie bastard. But uh, I, at least I was happy that you guys, if he would escalate the war, um, you guys would be on his ass. Well, you're not. Where are you? You guys are as bad as him. Like I said, when this is all over with, when we take our country back, you guys are going to China with him. When we kick him out, you're out too. All you liberals that won't fight. I mean, he just had his, uh, 
Gates said that they're they're going to uh, they're they're escalating the war more now, and and they'll talk about it. And the two more, they're pushing it back two more years. You know, my they're going to keep pushing it back and pushing it back and pushing it back. You know, no more, no more. That's it. No mas, no mas. It's over. That's it. We got to bring our boys home, boys and girls. These are our greatest patriots of killing them. They got you know depleted depleted uranium bullets. You know, like I said, I just talked to a Marine out on the highway. He didn't tell me why he had cancer, but I know why he got cancer. You know, the, the, even the bullets that our greatest patriots use now are, are, are killing them. You know, come on, man. Enough is enough. You know, we're, live, we're, we're going through the second information revolution of the world. And the first one was when we had the first revolution. This is the second information of the world, information revolution. Uh... You know, it's like, like I said, we are in an information revolution. But what I mean by that kind of information revolution was, you know, uh, it advanced the world. You know, this kind of information media war that we're going through. Even Hillary Clinton was crying to Congress the other day because they're losing. And she said that we're losing here in America and they're trying to take the freedom of speech away because they don't want... The, the the people like Alex Jones, Dr. Savage, Glenn Beck, and all these guys, they don't want, they want you to dictate what kind of news we have because they are communist pigs and socialist bastards. And I, I, I don't care, I'm gonna swear on this one, but because I'm mad. But anyways, she's begging Congress to put money to fight against Alex Jones and Glenn Beck and, and uh, Michael Savage and because they are losing the information revolution the media war for our souls which i if you look back through my videos you'll find my topic when i was talking about that that's what we've been fighting since the 9 11. so i'll see you guys in the next part hope you're enjoying this uh time's flying and these are probably going to be log segments and i'm gonna run out of film so i'll see you in the next clip